The limits of this noise report are the I-90 connection, which is essentially Liberty Park Interchange out to Sprague Avenue Interchange, and then it goes all the way north of following the NSC up to Mission Avenue. Anytime we do an improvement that's going to add capacity to a roadway, we have to consider impacts from noise. What's interesting is noise, most people don't know how noise is measured. They've heard of a decibel, but what is a decibel? Decibel is actually sound pressure. And it's different, it's how each individual perceives it. But just a general rule of thumb, noise pressure doubles, so the sense of the loudness doubles for every 10 decibels of increase. So first thing we have to do is kind of establish where the roadway changes are gonna be. And with the I-90 connection, we have developed connections to get off of I-90, on I-90, onto the NFC, and how that will look in a 3D version. It's really important to make sure we're modeling the noise correctly and that's how noise is done. We actually model it. So the first thing we do is validate the existing noise. You go out there and you model it and you say we think it's going to be this, this and this and we go out there and we actually do 24 hour counts during the noisy uh, periods of the day to validate it and once it's validated within two decibels of what the model shows then we can go to the next step of actually creating what the future is going to look like. I think three specific areas in this report that came out that said uh, if you insert a wall here you'll achieve some noise reduction but it didn't meet the cost criteria. You had to build too much wall for the benefit of the noise reduction. We try to insert a barrier that will reduce noise by 10 decibels. That's the target. Minimum of 10 decibels. With the I-90 noise technical report, what we found is the earth barriers from the fills in the roadway actually achieve quite a bit of reduction for a lot of areas that would have originally, through the collector distributor design, required walls and lots of them. And so that was kind of a win-win. We were able to mitigate without having to build additional walls. So one thing that we'll see as we build the I-90 connection to the NSC is we're going to be building ramps and series of connections as we go over roadways. We build a dirt fill to build, lead up to a bridge and then that dirt fill actually serves as a noise barrier. And so folks that were hearing I-90 noise and they're on the other side of this ramp will no longer hear as much noise. It'll be present, they'll know it's here but it won't be as loud as it was prior to the project. We want to be good neighbors, and part of that is building a freeway that's not going to impact your neighbor. And so we're building a NSC for the public, not to the public, and this is just another step in that direction.